Hey, welcome back guys and uh, just got done welding this up and you can see it is it is still smoking it is literally smoking hot so um, I want to look inside here what we did is we took the torch and uh, heated up the four corners I did these two sides and then welded that up and then you know you fire up the torch again and heat up the, the, the two opposite opposing sides and then weld that up and you don't want to get that to the point where it's it's you know glowing cherry cherry red you just want to get it to where it just starts to just starts to turn color a little bit just just starts to pick up that glow but not to the point where you're going to melt the gears and um, you can see work the weld back and forth it's burned very deep into that intersection there where the gears meet and on um, both sides as well as down here and um, after you burn it into the corners, you just slowly bring that out and then and gradually build a bridge across. And, um, and you're destroying the gears, basically melting them, you know, getting, getting the, everything to the point where this is all one piece of metal now. And um, not just on this side, but I've also did done the other side. So I uh, wanted to uh, just let you take a look at this. And I could have went down a little bit further with... Um, this one here that um, I want to try and keep it away from where the splines are splines for the axles are down in there the only thing you'll have um, maybe a little bit of an issue with is if you get a little bit of splatter um, you, it may splatter down on the splines but um, it's just little tiny like beads of, of uh, hot metal that will stick and if you slide an axle in there and pull it out it usually knocks those out so you won't have a problem you can get a wire brush and clean that out that's about the only problem I've ever seen with these but um, because that is so hot uh, I'm not going to touch it that's for sure <laughs> but, uh, um, this is going to be left uh, probably till tomorrow and um, then we'll put the ring gear back on and um, we got the the bolts of the ring gear. We'll show you how the, all that works. But uh, the ring gear fits on there real snug. There's a little bit. You have to kind of you have to hammer it on. But uh, uh, we use a, um, a, a like a no bounce mallet or like a, a urethane mallet to 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 pound that on. So we'll show you how that works. But um, wanted to give you this quick update and um, hopefully we'll see you in, in the next episode whenever we put the ring gear on. And um, then we're gonna we're gonna assemble the. Uh, the the center section with the ring gear and the um, the gear cluster. So uh, pretty simple so far. Hope uh, hope you've been enjoying it. Like and subscribe. Thanks guys.